I have a disability as far as hearing is concerned. So if she doesn't speak up loud enough, I won't hear her. And I act, I, I feel like I'm dumb. Um, stores, they don't have buttons that are tactile when they check out. So I have to rely on somebody else to punch in my PIN number. Some people feel that they have to be afraid to ask how they can help a physically challenged person. And that's always bothered me. No one should be afraid of that. I once went into a convenience store. I went to fill up a cup of coffee and I shook. I spilled all over the place, but after I paid, he looked at me and went, please don't come back into my store again. I went, why? You've made the mess and I don't appreciate that. So could you please don't come back. One in five consumers has a disability. This is a large percentage of the patrons who come in and out of your business every day. In America, this demographic spends upwards of $150 billion annually, which makes this a powerful customer niche group for businesses on both the local and national level. Although it may not always cross your mind, these consumers may require some special support and attention. You may be unfamiliar with their needs or unsure of how to best help customers with disabilities, but it is important to treat them with the same level of respect and courtesy that is shown to all your patrons. People with disabilities shop and dine locally. This video is designed to help you, the employee, or the business owner connect with patrons with disabilities and hear from this portion of your clientele what they expect from you. There are several key actions you can take to help respect accommodate and oblige your patrons with disabilities. Hello Karen, hello Ellen. Nice to see you today. What we can do for you today? I would like to make a deposit. You want to make deposit to your savings account? Yes ma'am. Okay, give me one moment. And how much you want to deposit? Speak directly to the customer, not the caregiver or the companion. Make eye contact. Use person first language. Always say person with a disability customers with disabilities, not disabled person. Or individual with schizophrenia, not schizophrenic. Ask the customer, how can I help you? Or what can I do to help you today? A customer may call ahead and ask for help with the door. Service animals are highly trained and are on duty working for their owners. Always ask permission before petting or offering food to the animal. I'll be right back to check on you. Is there anything else I can do to make you more comfortable? I, when you serve me, I'd appreciate it if you'd serve me from this side so that you don't interfere with my service dog. Okay, sure, that's no problem. Customers with disabilities may have a special request with their meal, such as portion sizes or specific placement of their utensils. Is there any special preparation we need to do? Uh, if you can have the kitchen cut that up for me. Sure, how would you like that cut in quarters? Quarters would be fine, otherwise bite size. Okay, perfect. That'd be no problem. Thank you. Customers with disabilities or age-related limitations may ask for special seating. Uh, I'd prefer, if at all possible, to sit at a table with the street mat chair. Oh, sure, this one's well, open right here. There you go, I'll be right back to check on you. Okay, thank you. More and more individuals use different methods to communicate. The best strategy is to take the individual's lead or ask what assistance is needed to communicate clearly. Hi. Hi, I'm Beth. Okay. Do you have a with your pen? Yes, I do. Please. Oh, surely. About the community? Be patient and courteous. Take your time and allow the customer to act independently. 
60? Yeah. Okay, I'll double check it for you. Okay. Colors, noises, or lights may be overwhelming or distracting, so it may take time for a customer to focus on a clerk's request or question. So it'll just be the batteries then, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Don't prejudge a customer's ability. Some challenges are apparent and some are not. Try to be understanding and help make every customer as comfortable as possible. Being respectful, aware, and adaptable is very important when interacting with patrons of your business who have a disability. They are your customers and they support your business. Please support them as well. Our practice is to provide a high level of customer service to everyone who walks through our door. Some customers may need a little extra support, but we try to give everyone the attention they need. Uh, the biggest key to tell everybody is don't judge the book by, by its cover when they walk in. Uh, just take a moment, listen, figure out what the best course of service can be for your customer. Anyone with a disability makes a great customer. Don't forget to give them the same care you would give anyone. They've got the money, they want to spend it. Let them spend it with you because they're going to be customers for life. In the long run, this will benefit the business. If people with disability are treated kindly, they'll come back to the business. And I think that produces a good relationship there as well. To summarize our key actions, remember to, number one, speak directly to the customer, not the caregiver or the companion. Make eye contact. Number two, use person first language, such as person with a disability or customers with disabilities, not disabled person. Number three, ask the customer, how can I help you? or what can I do to help you today? Number four, be patient and courteous. Take the time to allow the customer to act independently. And number five, do not prejudge a customer's ability. Being respectful, aware, and adaptable is very important when interacting with patrons of your business who have a disability. They are your customers and they support your business. Please support them as well.